To the community of Long Branch, this is a devastating fire. The amusement pier fill, filled with games and rides and what used to be a major seaside attraction is still burning tonight. Also, a major portion of the now famous boardwalk was also destroyed. Almost as quickly as it began, possibly in a fast food restaurant, the flames raced down through 13 stores on this wooden boardwalk. There was little anyone could do, not even the hundreds of firemen who desperately tried to save the adjacent amusement pier known as Kids World. Then they had to run for their lives. Wind just jumped it right over the top of our heads and the buildings behind us were gone. And which time for the safety for the men, I had to pull them off the pier. There's no way you could even begin to fight something There's like that. There's no way I could. I guess the winds were going about 25, 30 miles an hour at the time. And fortunately, blowing out to sea, away from the other businesses in the area. They were lucky, too. The amusement pier was closed. Otherwise, two to 3,000 children could have been in danger. In the midst of such disaster, only nine people were injured, none seriously. Tonight, firemen still found in the smoldering ruins pockets of fire. And for the owners of businesses, they discovered their losses and a helpless feeling. Just gone. And then it spread out to the pier. In a matter of like an hour, it was throughout the whole period. There's no way if you get out to save your games, your, your business out there? No, I wouldn't even try it. <laughs> now that it has been destroyed, they will try to find out why when they begin digging through the rubble tomorrow. And we're going to start in this area here where we believe the fire began, and we're going to go through it piece by piece and try to determine what caused this fire. To the businessmen who lost their livelihood in this fire, this has also been a traumatic day. Standing by live now is Jim Dolan, Eyewitness News reporter Jim Dolan, who has been looking into their plight. Jim? Tim, I'm down on the beach, and behind me you see the rubble and the lumber and the ashes of about eight businesses. Symbolic, I suppose, of what the rest of the summer holds for the men and women who own, the, own those businesses. Economically, the timing just could not possibly have been worse. On Friday, school lets out, and on Saturday, the tourist season begins. And right now, merchants all over Long Branch are trying to figure out just how big a disaster today's fire was. Economically, the summer went down in flames and up in smoke for at least eight businesses along the boardwalk of Long Branch today. And all that's left of the pier, a major attraction here, is a skeleton. But in a resort town where shops and businesses depend on each other, the fire might have been contained to the pier. But the impact will surely spread. You know, it's hard to tell right now. We might get some sightseers and then people just might not come back anymore. A kids world alone employed anywhere from 150 to, to 250 uh, college students and uh, high school students. Uh, not to mention all the other stores that were here. I guess there's about 14 stores all total. Uh, and also not to mention the millions of dollars in revenues that come into the area as a result of the summer trade. No question, very serious impact. There are those who are more optimistic and even taking advantage. Already this t-shirt with a photo of today's fire is on sale. Ten dollars, please. But we still have about 70% of the park. We have still have a water park that uh, will be open this weekend and uh, then we're expecting a good season. So other businesses will take a swing at making the summer a hit despite the blaze. But the pier, built in the early 1800s, was a central part of Long Branch. And some feel its loss is more than just economic. It depends on how big an attraction that pier was. That pier behind me, which you can barely see, is still burning. How big an attraction that pier was.